that, this becomes a lot more fun. So you can use that. But as soon as you get this in any way, shape, or form, you guys are going to get my last side. The hardest one first, guys, we're going to go spinning back. This. Same thing, I'm trying to make the corner to target the ear right here. I'm going to turn, but when I'm turning, guys, I want to try to get about shoulder to shoulder to him. So then you're going to continue around, guys, and try to get on the other side of this kind of hard cover. So he's tucked down, I'm still trying to get to that ear, which is nice and legal in MMA. So they're doing that style of, of hard cover. I should be circumventing this guard and moving around the side. Step in the same time. Another cut. Yeah, just hit one. Yeah, all the way good. Yep. Yeah. All the way around. Yep. And then nothing wrong with that back foot too. If you range yourself. Too much of a step on your foot. Oh, I think. Okay. Yeah, just just. Oh, that's it. Hey, you got it. Just go up. The hardest one to land, guys. It's the hardest one to land. Yeah. You're just exaggerating the all the way through the line of the top. Can I hit you? Right. Okay. Yeah, put this foot all the way behind you. There it is. Gorgeous. If I throw the hook too hard, I'm afraid he like moves away from that line. That would be better. Your footwork has to be impeccable. Yeah. Guys, it can be a back fist or a uh, spinning back elbow. Everybody understand that, guys? It's running track, open mat, not cage. The next thing we're going to do is a cross frame. Cross frame, what's the danger in a cross frame? There's a lot of dangers in a cross frame, but the main danger in a cross frame, a cross frame is coming across and grabbing the hand, is that correct? So you put this, this leaves this wide open. So you're going to be circling to your right this way and cross framing to your left. That way you can easily pull out. So if you guys go cross frame and try to pull it down, you run the risk. Hold that cross frame for a second, and then it's the same thing. We're targeting that. A cross frame basically moves his hand out of the way. If he's protecting himself against overhands with a shield here, with a, with a good frame himself, then moving that out of the way and blasting this over the top is a great way. So just make sure that you guys are from here and here. You're going one and really reaching for two. Now I'm looking down the pipe of this guy here, so the, probably the next thing I'm going to need to do is get my head out of the way. Going like this is stupid. You guys got it? Let's do it, guys. Cross frame to the right, plus at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Right. Keep it here. Good one. Here it is, coach. There you go. Nothing wrong with that little combination. If you're beginning to link techniques together, Andrew, I don't know what to do with you. So just pull that head out and cross frame. Take your left hand down. Ah, my man, right there. You got it. Ding, 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 you do that in the That's it, hook, that's it. So we're going to start here, guys. You're going to split, even if his elbows are super tight. We're going to move outside and split that guard here. He's then going to come back down to the hips to push me out of the mount. And as soon as he does that, guys, I want you to pull this up and then deliver that again. Don't push down, obviously, because you're just going to go into your thigh. So instead, guys, just pop that off the hip and make him pay. Guard his head hard here. Instead of trying to get around it or even do jiu-jitsu, just continue to smash it. Get in the middle of that guy and split that guy right down the middle. Let's get it done, gentlemen. Let's get it done. You need to make sure it's hard and consistent. And once you realize that you've got a good position, whatever you're doing, you're banging them up, we're going to move up in here. Every shot needs to be extremely hard. What we're going to do is we're going to do two, one punch, one elbow. Make sure that your elbow is up. Remember, if I punch here, my elbow's down here, guys. My power follows my elbow, so I'm losing 45% of my power. Make sure your elbow is behind it. One. Then you're going to open that hand to do the elbow and move your head for two. But at this point, you guys don't want to play patty cake with them. You want heavy, hard shots over and over so that they go, ah. So let's make sure that the body is lined up correctly. Not just for the real power, but because it looks so devastating when you start. Even if he's blocking, he's not intelligently defending. Power. No head travels, head travels. No head travels, head travels. So you're gonna reach across, grab the shoulder, grab the wrist. This comes around here to get his hand that way. Boop. Or if he's doing this kind of a thing, we're coming under here. Boop. You have to say boop or it doesn't work. It's where your POI is, your point of impact. I want as little surface area as possible from these strikes. I want a lot of force and a little area. 
two positions that we can really get good finishes on are mount and the back. But make sure you soften them up a little. Remember, we're trying to get the referee to stop that thing or knock them out. So it has to be big shots, big shots, repeated big shots, boom, boom, boom. So the ref's like, oh my God, that's enough. Put our least on the back, making sure that we do a lot of force in a little area. A lot of force in a little area and your hammer fist. What are we targeting so we don't hit the back of your head? Yeah, it's huge. So guys, when we drop somebody, I don't want to watch you grapple with them. Drop them, swing by, hammer fist, then get into the mount. Knock on the door, move into bigger shots, and then when they give the back, let's do it. Everybody clear, everybody understand that. Good? All right, gentlemen. Thank you. Guys. An easy day today.